So in this video we're going to look at multiplying trinomials with trinomials. So a trinomial is when you have three terms. So I'm going to enlarge question number one and then we can take a closer look and see what how this is going to work. And so as with all the previous examples we simply need to make sure that each term multiplies with every other term in the other bracket. So what I mean by that is that this 2x is going to have to go to this x it's going to have to go to this y and it's going to have to go to this minus 1. This 3y is going to have to go to this x, to this y and to this 1 over here. And then and then lastly this xy is going to have to go to this x, to this y and to this 1. You see so everything in this bracket has to multiply with everything in that bracket. And so let's start by multiplying applying the 2x with the x and so that's going to give us 2x squared. The 2x with the minus y, well that gives us minus 2xy. 2x times by minus 1, that's just minus 2x. So we've now used this 2x and so the next step would be to use this 3y over here. And we'll start by multiplying it with the x in the other bracket and so that's going to give us positive 3xy. And then we're going to multiply it by this negative y over here and that's going to give us negative 3y squared and then we're going to multiply it with minus 1 and that's going to give us negative 3y. The next step would be to use this xy over here. We'll start by multiplying it with the x and so that's going to give us x squared y. We'll then multiply the xy and the minus y which is going to give us a minus xy squared. And then lastly, we'll multiply it with the minus y at the end, which is just going to give us negative xy. And now what we can do is look at this long expression and look for any like terms. So we can see that this xy over here is the same as this xy, as well as this xy at the end. Then we've got... No, those are the only like terms. And so we're just going to write the 2x squared down. Then for the xy's we're going to have minus 2 plus 3 minus 1. So you can type all of that in on the calculator but minus 2 plus 3 is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0. So the xy's are actually going to cancel out completely. And so all that we're going to have left is the minus 2x over here, the minus 3y, the positive x squared y and the negative xy squared. So moving on to number 2, we're going to start with this x over here. And we know that that x is going to have to multiply with everything in the second bracket. And so I'm going to start by multiplying it with that x over there. x times by x is going to give us x squared. x times by positive y is just going to give us positive xy. x times by positive 2 is just going to give us positive 2x. Now that we've used this x over here, we now need to move on to the negative y. And so we'll start off by multiplying that negative y with this x over here, which is just going to give us negative xy. Then when you multiply negative y with positive y, you're going to end up with negative y squared. And then we'll multiply the negative y with the positive 2, which is just going to give us negative 2y. The last thing would be to use the positive 2 and we know that that positive 2 is going to have to go to the x, the y and the 2. And so we'll start off by multiplying it with the 2x or with the x sorry. Then it's the 2 times y which is positive 2y and then 2 times 2 is 4. Lastly we need to go look for any like terms and so there's a xy over here and a xy over here. There's an x over here and an x over there. And then there's a y over there and a y over there. So we'll put all of those like terms together. So this x squared is just going to be its own thing. So we'll just put x squared. The xy's are going to cancel because this is a positive 1x squared. This is a minus 1x, sorry, not x squared, xy. So 1xy minus another xy, well, that's just going to give you 0. So those cancel out completely. The purple 2x's, well it's 2x plus 2x, so that's just 4x. And then the turquoise y's, it's a minus 2y plus 2y, so that cancels out completely. And then all that we have left is this minus y squared over here, and this positive 4. 